guys today I thought I would do a different video and it's something I've been wanting to do for a little while and it's kind of like a wish list video I just want to talk about the stuff that I kind of have my eye on I'm thinking about picking up I may pick up I may not just stuff like that I'm gonna talk about beauty and a handful of fashion things so let's get started the first thing I really want to pick up this summer that I've never picked up are a pair of white jeans I would really like kind of a cropped link like ankle or I don't know like right above the ankle I guess you call that cropped not quite capri link I've tried on a few pairs of white jeans in the past and I think I feel like I'm in a sausage casing and I look like I'm gonna explode in it terrible I think they're they've always been unflattering on me but so many tops I think oh that would be so cute with a pair of white jeans I have a pair of white shorts. I'm still not a big shorts wearer, so I really want a pair of white jeans. So if any of you have any recommendations, please let me know. I did actually order a pair. Um, the blogger Pinterest told me to. She since changed her name to Schaefer told me to. She had featured a pair of white jeans a while back, and I had ordered them, but they're on back order for like months and months. So I don't know if I'll ever even get them. So recommendations, please. And then also... I'm not really like a sneaker wearer because I usually think they're kind of ugly. But especially with kiddos and during the summer, I think a pair of sneakers are just really nice to have. And I wear those Skechers Go Walks a lot and I like them, but I'm kind of wanting a pair of like lace-up ones. There was this Nike Juvenate pair that I had ordered. They were gray. They were so pretty and comfy, but they're like huge. I ordered my regular size six and a half and they were just massive. And anyways they don't have any more sixes in stock and a while back I had ordered a pair of the Nike fly knits and they must run really big too because by the time I returned them they didn't have my next size the next size down in stock so I'm having a hard time I would really like a pair I don't know like sometimes I think oh a pair of hot pink ones would be cute but I really liked that gray pair I don't really like black sneakers so none of that so anyways if you have any recommendations of those please let me know um my little baby is sleeping on the bed so if i sound a little quieter that's why so anyways for um makeup items i kind of laid out things i had of the same brand to remind me so the first thing i am really curious about is the l'oreal infallible pro glow i have the pro matte and i do like it but it is very matte I don't know if I'd want to wear the Pro Glow in the summer, but I definitely am curious about it. I may just order it if I see it online somewhere, or I may pick it up in the store if I see it. I think it's still really early for reviews to be out, but if you have tried the Pro Glow and you've tried the Matte, Pro Matte, please tell me how it is. I, I don't think anybody I watch has done um, a review on them. So, anyways, I'm really curious about that. And then Anastasia that um romance palette that's out right now modern romance i want that so so bad it looks like the best version ever of the naked three palette it's definitely like pink and rosier tones but it's more like warm and more like orangey um tones my hair just looks it looks so slick back. I do not like how it looks right now in the video. Um, anyways, so the Modern Romance palette I want. And I actually saw it in store today. We had gone to the mall and the JCPenney's has a Sephora now. So I just kind of strolled in there to see. And they had it just like at the register. Just open. It wasn't on display or anything. And it looked really pretty. And then also from Anastasia... I don't know what it is, but ever since I got the Becca Jaclyn Hill Highlighter Palette, I'm all about highlighters. I want one of the Anastasia kits. She had two of the glow kits or something like that. And the one in kind of the silver packaging was kind of, I don't know, the one I wanted. But that new one has some really different kind of colors, but I don't think they would work for me. So I'm kind of thinking about one of the glow kits. And then also the reason I went in Sephora. I am really curious about the new Josie Marin foundation. It's, I don't know what it's called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Vibrancy, I think. It's in kind of that blue, blue packaging. 
I'd gone to see if they had it and I could, um, I don't know, color match myself or maybe try a sample and try it out because I know it's probably not the fullest coverage, but it just looks like something that would be super nice for the summer for your skin. And my skin right now is looking pretty decent, so I think I could handle, you know, something with a little bit less coverage and it not be so bad, <laughs> you know. Okay, another item I'm really wanting to try, I'm trying to keep myself from even ordering it, it's the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I do not need any mascaras, I have <laughs> so many sample sizes, but I've seen the rave reviews for it and I really, really want to try it. I'm working on that Tarte mascara right now, Tartist Lash Paint. This is the most awful um, container for a sample by the way, but I'm really liking it and I just finished that Marc Jacobs new mascara and I love it so much. I'm just, I'm usually not that into high-end mascaras, but I've been really enjoying those. Okay, also Urban Decay, the Gwen Stefani palette. Should I get it? The sale price is like tempting me because I kind of wanted it before. I don't know. By the time y'all see this video, I may have picked it up. I'm so tempted to get it because it just looks like such a neutral lover's dream and it's such a pretty palette, but then it's like, mm, it's full of neutrals. I probably have some dupes. I don't know. If you own it, tell me if it is like, yes, you need it. It's great. I don't care how much you have. You need it. Or if you think it's just passable, tell me that. Okay. What else? Okay. Makeup by Tiffany D. She did a, uh, I don't know, a get ready with me or a tutorial the other day and she used Bobbi Brown Stone, the shimmer wash eyeshadow. She said it's kind of like MAC Satin Taupe, but better. So now I'm wanting that. So tell me also about that. The Lancome um, Tint Adol Stick Foundation. I'm so curious about stick foundations. I feel like they're everywhere lately. And I have not used... Prior to recently, I did try a stick foundation that was really bad. <laughs> But I haven't used a stick foundation prior to recently in so many years. So I had a sample of the Lancome Tint Adol Liquid Foundation a while back. It's been quite a while. And I really did like it. It had good coverage. It had good lasting ability. It was definitely good for your, um, in the summer my skin tends to be a little oily. Not too bad, but just a little oily. So I don't know. I'm there's just so many new makeup things that have me all over the place okay just a few more things and this is not like i'm gonna pick these up it's just things that are kind of on my radar if you've tried them if you haven't i don't know just kind of i want y'all's feedback i want you to tell me what's on your radar the benefit dandelion liquid blush i'm not a cream blush person but for some reason i think i could do the liquid blush I don't know why. I tested it out at Sephora today on my hand and it was so pretty but it's a pump and I don't know if it was just because it was the tester but like a big giant glob came out. It wasn't like I could just squeeze just a tiny bit. You know how the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer you get way too much? It was kind of like that today so I don't know. I don't even know if I want to bother if it's that kind of a container that's just, I don't know, a little wasteful. Maybe like a dropper thing would be better. I don't know. But I'm really curious about the Benefit Dandelion Blush liquid. I think it would be really pretty. And then lastly, kind of, I have not been using my lights because when I have a chance to film, it's so like, okay, now's your chance. you got to take it. So I, I'm sorry about my lighting. It's not as pretty or true pretty. I don't know. This is the Jouer lip creams. I got this little one in lychee, lychee, whatever, in my birch box last month. That's what I'm wearing today. I love this color. It's like your lips but better, but pinker, more alive. I don't know. I think it is just such a nice color. It's one of those, I see a lot of people wearing these kind of colors 
and I guess it's all about finding the right shade but these they give me like the butthole lips if you know what I mean they dry out and they make my lips look like they're a shriveled up prune it is not a flattering look so if you have tried the lychee lychee however you pronounce it shade and there's another product that is like the dead on same color let me know because I think it's all in the shade all in the shade and I really like this and I like how it looks now it's kind of like kind of like a mousse like a cream it's not a super drying liquid lipstick but once it sits on my lips for a while it just does nothing for them texturize and I don't have like really you know tons of lines in my lips my lips aren't wrinkly, wrinkly I guess you could say but that is definitely not flattering for my lips whatsoever so anyways that is kind of a quick little rundown of what's like on my radar things I'm thinking about not necessarily things I'm gonna pick up I may pick up something completely different but those are things I'm just really I don't know I've been thinking about and the benefit lolly balm it's been on my radar for a long time because if you know me I love those kind of like cool tone baby pinks and especially a sheer color I've just never tried any of the benefit balm so I don't know if the texture is good if it's bad like I love the Revlon lip butters and the Maybelline um, you know color whispers and your Dior addicts and the Coco rouge cocos or whatever like all those really sheer lip colors I love so I don't know I'm kind of thinking about that oh and then also Urban Decay their beached collection out for the summer the bronzers both of those I think are so pretty the first one is a little bit lighter with kind of like a red tone it looks good and then the other one just looks like a really pretty bronze shade so if you have either of those and you think they're just like a great bronzer let me know because I do really enjoy a bronzer in the summer. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There's always stuff that's on my radar. But those are definitely things that I'm super thinking about. So I guess I will let you guys go. Um, tell me what's on your wish list. What are you thinking about? What have you picked up that you think is a must have? Just anything beauty, fashion, whatever. Please share with me. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.